Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Banggood was kind enough to send me this T-Watch 2020 by Lilygo, and it is an ESP32 programmable touchscreen watch. It has, uh, like I said, an ESP32, 1.54 inch screen, lithium battery, has an accelerometer, touchscreen, infrared, speaker, vibration motor, and uh, and all that kind of stuff. And so, I've seen some other reviews on this product, and there's a lot of people doing really cool things. My friend Volos made a tic-tac-toe game. He made a little uh, side-scrolling shooting game with it and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm a little bit different, so I wanted to see how much trouble I could get into with this watch. So I wrote three different programs for this thing that are for entertainment purposes only. Some of them are more entertaining than others, but stick with me. The first one we have here, uh, when you connect this thing to Wi-Fi, now don't worry about it, you can be somewhere public. Uh, you can use Wi-Fi Manager to enter your credentials via your phone. But once you do, you'll be presented with an IP address at the top of the screen. So this allows you to play a little game. So stick with me here. Let's just say that you're at a party and it's a boring party and you want to make it a little bit more interesting. You fire up the watch and you take the IP address and you give it to a friend and that friend will go over there and put it in their phone and then you're going to go ahead and strap this thing to your wrist or whatever and uh, go somewhere else in the party so when that person fires up this ip address in their browser they will be presented with a text box and they can send you a message that will vibrate in morse code and your job is to try to decode the message let me show you how that works The next bit of mischief I came up with involves turning this thing into a credential stealing honeypot. And so what you can do is if you turn this thing on, it will come up with just three red dots up in the corner. And so that tells you that this thing is active. Now what it has done is it created its own Wi-Fi hotspot. And you'll see that it is called Free Wi-Fi for Citizens. And so what happens is if you click that, you will be connected and taken to a login screen where you can sign up for free Wi-Fi that is only available to U.S. citizens. So I could put 103, uh, we'll just do a space, <laughs> and then your mother's maiden name, you know, because you have to be secure. You don't just want their social security number, but you have to make sure they're really U.S. citizens. So my mom's maiden name is Joe Mama. And I hit OK, and it says, oh, my citizenship could not be verified. Please enter your real Social Security number and mother's maiden name. And what happened was, on the screen, it put the actual information. And then I was able to log this to a text file on the device. So you can walk around with your own little Wi-Fi network called... Uh, free Wi-Fi for citizens and as people enter their credentials they'll show up on your screen and be logged to the text file. Last but not least is the famous or infamous TV Be Gone. Now this thing actually has an infrared transmitter and so I made a program that just sticks a little blue dot on the screen to let you know that you're in that mode and when you push the button it's going to turn that dot red and vibrate and then it's going to wait 15 seconds to give you time to get into position or to get the watch into position and then it's going to start cycling through all kinds of remote control codes to try to turn off any TVs that are within range. You heard the vibrate, we're red and then in 15 seconds it's going to go ahead and start cycling through the things and then uh, when it's done this thing will turn blue again. So this is kind of a fun little stealth device that you can have on your wrist. It doesn't draw any attention. Uh, you have time to push the button, get out of the way, and hopefully not get kicked out of whatever bar or store or place you're in.
So normally I would share all the exact code of how I did the different things that I did. I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm not trying to get people in trouble. I will share the libraries that I use because those people who wrote those libraries helped me a ton. So I'll kind of give you a point in the right direction, but I'm not going to get you in trouble. So uh, overall, I felt like this watch was really easy to work with. There's a lot of examples out there on the internet. Uh, but the most important thing is that it takes ESP32 code. So it wasn't very hard. Obviously, I didn't do a whole lot in terms of UI and stuff stuff like that but it's it's not difficult you can draw just like you can with any other lcd screen and things like that so overall i found the thing incredibly easy to work on let's uh let's take the thing apart real quick and then i'll give you my final impressions the back <laughs> as you can see that came off pretty easily uh you've got your looks like some kind of microphone in here your vibration motor let me see if I can pull the battery. Yeah, pulling the battery, there's not a whole lot that looks like it's usable on the inside here. Uh, but I do like the fact that they give you access to it. So, um, yeah, I mean, the thing comes with a cable, replaceable battery, a uh, decent feeling band, like a nice silicone band. Uh, feels decent quality. I think it's attractive enough looking. Uh, battery life, I've never had to charge it during all this messing around with it. Uh, I'm guessing wearing it as a smartwatch with the full display, you'd get a day, day and a half's worth of battery out of it. That's just a guess off the top of my head. A lot of it depends on how you're using this power management. But overall, I think this thing is very cool. And what I didn't mention is that this thing is $35 from Banggood shipped from the US or $30 from Banggood shipped from China. So, I mean, that is a deal. Like, I mean, an ESP32, a screen, a battery, battery management, the built-in sensors and stuff like that. Like, overall, it is a very fun thing to mess around with. So, if you're interested, I'd appreciate it if you grabbed it through the link in my description. I will have some code down there to kind of point you in the right direction if you want to recreate any of these things. But, hey, thanks for watching and thanks to Banggood for sending this. Have a great day.